I wanted to show you my actual collection before I started doing the thrifting just to show you how many puzzles I had to start with over 30 years. I enjoy relaxing and just doing puzzles, having it out and always being able to just, you know, go and do it. What you've seen is when I'm doing puzzles, I don't sit down and like do them all at once. I have other things I have to do as well. So I'll come and I'll do it, you know, for a few hours and then I'll go about my day for the next day probably or that, that night I'll finish the puzzle up. But now I'm able to do a lot more, which I am very happy with. I have like five piles here. So some of them are new that I got around Thanksgiving and Christmas last year um, when I was shopping. And also a couple when I was looking at puzzles um, before thrifting, I was looking for some cool puzzles to do after watching some YouTubers doing theirs. I'm like, oh, that's a cool brand. I want one of those. This is Chase. He'll probably stay there the whole time. I got this right after, you know, Thanksgiving was on sale. It's a Halloween puzzle. I got from TJ Maxx. So, I don't think I did it. No. No, I haven't done it yet. So, this will be next year, around Halloween. I will do this one. But it looked really cute in the, in the tin. I just like unique packaging as well. This one is a buffalo. Oh, I didn't tell you what this is. This one is Halloween Candies. It is a uh, Euro Graphics, and that probably was why the main thing I picked it up, because I saw a couple people doing Euro Graphics. I hadn't heard of that before, and then I saw it at TJ Maxx around right after Halloween, so that's why I grabbed that one. A Buffalo, and this one's a thousand piece puzzle, and it is called Brown's General Store that has a lot of detail, a lot of veggies and flowers, and so I think it would be interesting to put together. And on the back it says the perfect snap, so we'll see. It's a buffalo, it should be fine. This one I really enjoy doing, this television. It is a white mountain, American's favorite puzzles, that's what it says on the back. I did this and again, when you're putting them together, you start seeing faces that you, do, you didn't really like see on the box when you first picked it up. So I, I did enjoy doing this and I would probably do that again. Jigsaw puzzle and it says children and cars. I got this as a gift. It was fun to put together as well. I love the little kids on there. So it's the brand in China. But the box is very heavy very sturdy. I do like the box. This is one I bought as well at Thanksgiving. I think I got it the same time as the Halloween one. Impossible Puzzles. It has no edges. I have a couple of these that I had 20 years ago. Here they are. So I picked this up because I hadn't done it for like 20 years, a puzzle like this. So I figured it'd be fun and difficult because of all the fall leaves. But I will do that next fall. Trying to do like them seasonal makes it more interesting to do like the Christmas ones at Christmas time. Same with the fall. These are my old puzzles from 20 years ago. I think it's like 20 years ago. Let's see if I can see the date on here. But I got these for Christmas. I believe my mom had bought me these 2001. So I guess not 20 years ago. No. Oh. Yes. 20 years ago. So I was right. <laughs> so I got, it's a, the tease, because my husband loves golf, so she thought that that would be fun for us to do together. And fish, he loves doing fishing. They were fun to put together. They have no edges and five extra pieces. This one's called Fishing, Something Fishy, and this one was called Tea Time. I will end up doing these again. I might just do them all three in one day as a video. They're not that difficult, but they are, say fun a lot. Relaxing. Um, what other words should I use? I don't know. Okay, Cobble Hill. 
vintage art supplies. But again, I love it when it has a lot of details because you find things as you're putting them together. Speaking of holiday ones, here's a Christmas one. Somebody got it for me. I think it was my sister that got it for me for Christmas. 1,000 pieces. I did put that together at Christmas time. So this is a keeper because it's going to be a nice Christmas one. And it's called Classic Christmas. Here is one. 1,500 pieces. Get the glare off there. And it's a FX Schmid Puzzles. And I believe I did have a enjoy a good wine while I was putting that together. Over a couple days. This um, White Mountain, what a beach. Having all these fa famous people on their faces. The Seal Ball, Elvis Presley, Jackie Kennedy, the Reagans. This one was missing one piece. I've put that together a couple times now. This is another White Mountain. I liked it. I don't know if I put it together. I think I put it together twice. So I don't think I would put it together again. I like the different shells, but it wasn't, didn't excite me. It was a good puzzle though. I did put it together twice. And it's called Shells of the Shore. There's another White Mountain. Oh, one of my favorite ones. It was so hard. So hard. We ended up putting pieces. As I get one piece, I have to find the spot. And it was just like a piece here and there all over the board. It was, I would do this again. I enjoyed it. Even though it was so difficult. There's... You think, oh, it'd be easy because you just find this, this pencil. Well, this pencil is like three different places on here. One of my favorites. Walk at sunset. That was a lot of sunset. It looks like a glare, but it's not. That's the sunset. I put it together once. 500 pieces. Pieces were nice. My daughter... Her boyfriend got me very cool Van Gogh puzzles. These were difficult. Clementoni. Then another one. The Scream. Well, this one was, I should know the name of this piece right off the bat, but I don't. Starry Night on the Room. That was more difficult than I thought it would be. I thought it'd be easier with all these little lines, but it was not. And then the screen. I love this one. It was uh, on the difficult side, but I really enjoyed it. And I would do these again, definitely. Then, Rainy Night Walk. This one is from In Good dot com. It has a thousand pieces, so it was difficult. And it comes out the side. And it came in this, this pretty little bag. This is really pretty. And the puzzle, the colors on the pieces were really nice. I would do this puzzle again. Flying Hammers, I got this like 20 years ago. My mom got it for me, let's say 15. And that's when I kind of stopped doing puzzles for a while. I was so active with the kids, didn't really have time to do, to work on puzzles for like, you know, seven to 10 years. So this, I look forward to doing it because I grew up around the Amish. So I do, I just don't think pieces are going to be that great. So I've been putting it off, you know, how pieces just aren't like, they don't stick together or they're flimsy. This just seems like it'd be a flimsy puzzle. It's a limited edition. DYP Inc. Amish country. All right. Moonlight and lace. A sun, a sun's out puzzle. I like that one too. I don't know if I put it together again. 
I probably would, but I have so many other cool ones. Oh, I thought a piece fell out. It's not. This is in Salem, North Carolina. This. I have two of these that I had done. This is a beach cruising. That was nice. There's only 550 pieces. And then this one, which is Coastal Sunrise. Which is a thousand pieces. I like that one too. On the beach. Oh, these pieces are, you know, a decent size. Even though oh, I should get a colored one. Here's a blue one. Pieces were nice. And I picked a heritage up at the thrift shop too. Um, I don't know if I showed you those, that one yet. I'm getting shelves to put these up. So I took these out of the cover. I'll show you the cover that I had it in. Picture, I took a video of it. And so I'm taking it from that cupboard and putting them on shelves down here in my work area to display them. Because, I mean, they are pretty puzzles. And I was also running out of room in my little storage bin. So I needed it. This is one I bought. Um, round puzzle. I haven't had a round puzzle like that before or at all. I squished the box. It hasn't even been put together yet and the box is already destroyed. Don't know how I did that. But I will enjoy this one doing the color scheme. And I picked this one up right after Christmas when I was looking at the puzzle again. In January when I was looking at puzzles and somebody had done a minty fizz puzzle. I'm like, oh, they look so pretty. So I looked it up and I found this one and I believe it was on sale, so I grabbed it. Joy Waves. And it's a thousand pieces. But the minty fizz, they just look so cute. Buffalo, A Country Life. I did this one. I had fun doing it. I believe it was definitely during vacation, so we all kind of worked on it, all the family. Mostly me, but they would entertain me and be with me while I work at it and try to find some pieces as well. This is a buffalo. We've got some pieces. Drinks. It's called from the Vivid Collection Happy Hour. I think I have another one that's called Happy Hour I just got from a thrift store. It's not the same one. Probably not the same brand either. Oops, sorry. Hi, right, Chase. I scared you. The kids got me this dog life one for Christmas a couple years ago. It was cute. It was just a cute puzzle. Oh, it was by Buffalo. This one is bits and pieces. One, it's two of these I got same time in January. Got a little puzzle crazy, I guess, in January when I realized I can do more puzzles. But it was buy one, get one free, so I bought one for five bucks. And then I got the other one free. So this one is called Payday Cones. Little doggy and little girl with ice cream cone. And then a vintage black pool. The vintage bus in the background. A thousand pieces. I look forward to doing that one as well. Fix a code. In the summer, chilling on the Turkish beach. That took me a little while to do, to do this one. All those umbrellas fitting together. The box is nice. The puzzle pieces were nice. This one, two by two. Came from the Creation Museum in Cincinnati, Ohio. Where they built an ark. So I love this puzzle. Has all the animals. It was a nice puzzle to do. I did enjoy doing it. I will do it again. It's only 500 pieces. It'll be a fast one to put together. Okay, two. My friend does puzzles and she gave me a lot of her puzzles. I love 1500 puzzles, 2000, 
pieces, especially when they're just cute. Fun puzzle to do. Oh, I didn't say the name. This is 1500 Seco Puzzle Mark Bloody. They're, it's just a fun puzzle. The people running around in it, the cartoon people. Okay, a 1500 Bookshop Puzzle from Seiko. It is just the colors were just so nice. I did enjoy doing it with all the colors. The bright colors. This Buffalo one, Viva Las Vegas, 2,000 pieces. I have not done it yet. And I know it's going to be difficult. Look at all of the lights on that. Buffalo Sweet Shop. Another one I have not done. So why did I get so many other new ones from the thrift shop? I don't know. I have these to do yet. So the 2,000 piece, it doesn't fit on my board that I have, so I have to do it on a um, expanded area and be able to keep it up for a little while. Times Square, I have done this one, and I did enjoy it. I have been there a couple times. So Times Square was pretty cool. I don't know about now, but the evening time, so amazing. All the artists that draw um, spray paint drawings and things in the atmosphere. It was enjoyable. Buffalo Pickets Celebration. The colors on this is really pretty as well. So this was a good one for color and fit together nicely. Here comes my Raven Bird. This was a new one I had. Just did this year. The Cozy Shed. So that was a nice one. It wasn't a shiny puzzle either. Here's a Raven's Bird. Uh, I've done this a couple times. Because I didn't go out and buy any new puzzles. Um, so I did, did this a few years ago and I just did it again a couple years later. So it's another one. Probably I won't. I might not do it again because there's so many other neat ones that I enjoy doing more. Especially since I've done it twice already. I guess I the Collector's Cover by Ravensburg. Really good puzzle to put together. Again, I like seeing all the little details as I'm putting it together. I loved this puzzle. It's Ravensburg. It's called Bicycles in Amsterdam. And I said I had gone to Amsterdam, or, yeah, Holland, for my daughter with her, um, with her softball. And we took a picture of her with a bike on one of these bridges. I don't, uh, I'm sure it's not this same bridge, but just the memories of going there. So Raven, Ravensburg, but the name of it is, dun, 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 Country Cottage. I like this one, but I probably wouldn't do it again. Oh, another new one I have not done yet. Looks like I squished the box a little bit. It's a 2000 Ravensburg puzzle. I look forward to doing this so much. Uh, maybe the next big one I do put together. World of Books. And my 5000 piece puzzle. Oh my gosh, this fit on my kitchen table, took up the whole table practically. I put a cardboard box on top of it, and that's what we ate off of it, is the cardboard box. Because I couldn't move the puzzle. So that took me a couple months, because again, the kids were younger, so I couldn't just sit and just do a puzzle all the time. So I would do it um, while they're at school or in the evenings. I love this puzzle. I would do it again in a heartbeat. I would love more 5,000 or more puzzles as well. That's the first time I ever did a 5,000 puzzle. I was so excited when I did it. It's called Bizarre Town. Now these next ones are, the, are wooden puzzles. 
I was looking at wooden puzzles. Well, again, I was looking at puzzles. This came across um, Amazon. I thought they'd be bigger, of course. There's the, the lion. It's a small box. But it comes in these little things. And every shape practically is like an animal or some sort of um, shape that you recognize. I will do these. Actually, I might, might do these tomorrow. This one's a horse. Same thing. Cute little pouch. Haven't done them yet. The last of my puzzles is these wooden ones that somebody had sent us. One of my husband's friends from high school, he just got in contact with really and they were talking and I had been doing a puzzle at the time, which he was which my husband told me, oh yeah, she's working on a puzzle. So he goes, did you, she ever do a Liberty puzzle, which is kind of where they're at, I believe, city, um, that makes these. So he sent me a wooden puzzle. It was around Christmas time. I hadn't got around to doing it because of all Christmas activities. And then my husband, for Christmas, thought, okay, well, I'm gonna get her one too. You know, it can't be outdone. So this one's a turtle. This one's called Sea Turtle, and this one's called Forest Lakes. This one is 501 pieces. This one's 418. Um, that's it. That's my collection that I have gotten over, like I said, like 30 years. And since I've been going to thrift shops, I'm probably going to end up with, I've already ended up with twice this, of this or at least the amount of, of this over on my thing. So I'm getting a, um, a shelf to put all these on, but that's it. That's my, that's my collection before I started thrifting. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Chase enjoyed it. Did I wake you up? I did. He's just gonna lay back down again.